Hello, Hadi. Hi. Hi. Can I borrow you for a few minutes? Yes. Yes, please. Great. Because we receive a lot of questions from our followers, so it'd be great if you can help me with that. Sure. Great. <laughs> my first question: What is TEFL? Okay, so TEFL stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language, and there is not an internationally agreed TEFL accreditation board or a set of regulations. So TEFL refers to the industry of teaching English. So it's, a, it's just in general. And once you get TEFL qualified, you uh, will be allowed to teach English to non-native English speakers all over the world. So which TEFL course to choose? There are so many courses available, so choosing the TEFL course can be really um, overwhelming. You will find courses from intensive um, short intensive weekend courses to um, ones that require up to 300 hours of study. However, when you choose your TEFL course, it's really good to know that most employers look for teachers who have a 120 hour TEFL qualification. So I would say that a 120 hour TEFL course is the minimum requirement. Who can get TEFL qualified? both native and non-native English speakers whose English is fluent, so with a native or near-native level of, of English, I would say. What is TESOL? Okay, TESOL is another acronym that stands for Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, and uh, that's more most popular in Canada, in the USA and Australia. How is it different from TEFL? They are very similar and often they mean the same thing. Um, and you can often do that online, in the classroom or in a combined setting. They are both flexible and self-paced uh, and the, the price is, is reasonable and affordable. Why is CELTA? CELTA stands for Certificate in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, and this is uh, probably the most well-known TEFL certificate. Uh, the CELTA is uh, standardized and run in centers all over the world. And um, the course can be done part-time or full-time, and I need to say that CELTA courses are more intensive and more expensive than TEFL and uh, TESOL courses. So, which course should I take? Um, you can, it, it's, it's up to you. Um, if uh, you are planning to, to teach English in a native English speaking country, um, then CELTA uh, may be the best. Uh, however, if your aim is to travel all over the world, uh, have fun and have a job that can support you financially while you are traveling, then it's most probably uh, the TEFL or, or a TEFL or a TESOL certificate uh -huh. is the one that I would go for. Um, your lesson is about to start, so I won't keep you for too long. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you found the answers useful. And if you like today's video, please like it and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.